Hello and welcome to another video from me, Aaron. Today we are looking at the Photosy F 1.7 35mm CCTV lens. Now you may have seen this lens around on the internet because it is an extremely small and extremely cheap prime lens. This lens is made by Photosy and is a 35mm 1.7 aperture lens. Now this prime lens is entirely manual, which means manual focus and manual aperture. Now you can even see here, if this focuses, you can see there the aperture ring getting opening and closing. And then the outer ring is the, is the focus ring. These are both pretty smooth, pretty nice, pretty nice build quality considering the, considering the price. Nice close up of the lens here, you can see here Photosy F35mm 1.7 lens, we've got the, the aperture and the, and, the, and the focus rings here, aperture on the inside, you can see here right, we can open and close the aperture there, you can even see, you might be able to see there that the focus ring actually focuses by the inner barrel moving in and out. So it comes with a this little lens cap, standard. It's very basic, but I mean, it's not. It doesn't need to do much else than that. And you can see, there's no rear lens cap. I just bought a cheap one on eBay. In the box, doesn't come with a lot, but comes with the lens and a lens cap, very basic. Interestingly, and worth noting, I think, is that it doesn't come with a guard for the back of the lens. So I've picked up cheap one, they come with other lenses you might have. But I picked up a little pack of cheap ones off, e off eBay, and then boom, there's nothing, no dust getting on your lens. I think that's essential to buy if you're getting one of these lenses. So a quick look at what comes in the box. Very, very compact box that this arrives in. Comes in a nice little, little carry pouch which basically, once you pop open, it's just the lens and lens cap. What else is in the box? Just a little instruction leaflet. Now this lens is interesting because, first of all, it costs about £25 in England, about $30 in the US, which is dirt cheap for a lens. If you know anything about this, this is with the, the E mount, and I'm, the pictures I'm going to be showing you throughout this video are being used again with this Sony A5100, and I think I might pop it on for a bit, um, and so you can see what it's a bit the video quality is like in comparison to what it's on now, which is the kit lens. All right, here's a little test shot of a video with with this lens on. You can see it's a little bit more zoomed in because of the 35 millimeter range on this camera, and you can see the the bokering effect around the edge of the, the shot. Now you can see if I move it in and out, there is no auto-focusing going on here, which is obviously something that you need to pay attention to, but you can see it's still a pretty crisp image in the center of the shot. So it's just a bit of a test shot with the Photosy 35 mm lens, which you can compare to the kit lens, which is being used for the rest of this video, which we'll be swapping back to in a second. Yeah. What's really cool about this lens and, well, means that it works in certain situations is that it has a very spherical focal range which means you can only really focus on the very center of, the, of your images and you'll get a very strange bokeh and distortion all the way around in a, as I said a spherical circular motion around the edge of your image which means that it can give you really cool I've described them as like dreamlike distorted images, really blurry, swirly backgrounds, which make, can make some really interesting portraits. And to be honest, people say that you can't use it for landscape photography. I think you can if you want to make something look a bit, or just a bit, bit weird, really. I think this lens is great to buy if you're a bit beginner photographer, because it's so cheap, but it also is a great practice of how to use a manual focus lens, which most cameras don't come with these days, or if they do, it's hidden in the settings here. You put it on straight away, there is no autofocus because there's no electronic components to it. It's completely manual, it just fits on the ring of your camera and then everything else is down to you. So you're in complete control. And I think it helps you understand how cameras work a little bit better and gives you a bit of self-confidence in using your camera a little bit better 
with only using the manual focus kind of get get your head around the process a bit better so i think it's really fantastic for that especially at this kind of price because you're not you're not wasting any money and it fits on a camera you've already got and then you go back to your normal lenses when you're doing something something a bit more serious because i think a criticism of this lens is there's there's a lot of fun to be had with the artistic quality of it but it means it's pretty limiting because if you want really crystal clear sharp images from corner to corner it's basically it's basically impossible with this lens but if you want something a bit fun and it certainly makes pretty cool photos and people do think what on earth is <laughs> what effects have you put on that and you can say none it's all the lens i think it comes down to it's such a small lens and it is advertised as it's come from a CCTV camera. Now, I don't know if that's just a, a funny little selling point of the camera, but you can see from the lens that it's extremely small. Um, let me see if I can find another, let me just compare it to another looking lens. Comparing it to a normal lens, now you can see, obviously this is a, a longer telephoto lens, lens, but you can see the width. You can see there, the width of these lenses is much, much narrower at the top of the lens so you can see there how much smaller it is and I think that helps contribute to the strange fact it also means that it's very compact for chucking in your in your pocket in your bag or just leaving on the camera so you can leave it in your pocket which you know I am a big fan of just having your camera ready in your pocket at all times instead of lugging around a load of extra gear with it as well so as I said I think this is a great introduction to a manual lens some downsides to it apart from the strange picture quality which you can see as a plus or a minus depending on what you're doing is there's no image stabilization on the lens and this means that if you're taking videos or even if you if you've not got the camera mounted on a tripod it can be well video especially can be extremely shaky and i'll hopefully show you some examples of this which means you really need to be really compo really compose your video well or have a, have a tripod or just be prepared for the amount of shake that's going to be on there. It might be cool in a few artistic situations, but if you're just trying to focus on something in the dis, focus on anything, it's a fixed focal length, so you're not going to be zooming in on anything. But if you're just focusing on one thing in particular, you might be all right, but if you're moving down the street or even panning around with just by hand, it's, it's pretty shaky. I think this is a really good practice lens. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be using this as their main prime lens but I think it can get some really artistic shots. I don't think you'd be using this in any um, professional situations, though it could be a nice little alternative if you're taking some portraits or something to get something a little bit unusual that you would chuck in the mix and people might think, oh, yeah, actually I'm looking for something a little bit more artistic. Yeah, there's a fairly short one here. There'll be a few different shots and videos um, intertwined into this video so you, can, so you can get a thought of it. But at the price point, $30, £25, it's worth picking up, chucking on your e-mount. Um, as I said, I've got this on the Sony 50... 100 which is pretty much the entry level so if you get this compared to other mirrorless cameras you're really not breaking the bank and especially for a, a cheap prime lens which is really good fun you get interesting results out of you can do whatever you like with it see what see what you can get but there's a few examples here to help you decide what you think of it but but for a cheap prime e-mount lens you can't go wrong really because if you don't like it you've not really spent an awful lot on it and i think everyone will find some value out of it even if it's just practicing manual photography thanks for watching like and subscribe if you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.